thank God because <clears throat> we are in a school and we are learning. And uh, I hope we are all gaining knowledge <clears throat> so that uh, we can be acceptable before God. Buona Sifiwe. So to go to school, Sidio. Na unafunzi ya kiwa shuleni anaelimishwa kwa faida yake. So kama uko shuleni unaenda kusoma I let you know that you are not learning for your parents. You are not learning for your parents, you are learning for yourself. <coughs> to your own advantage. Buona sifiwe. That is true. You are learning, you are at school to gain knowledge to your own advantage. So, ausomei mzazi. Unajisomea. <clears throat> when God teaches us, is this to our own benefit, not to anybody's benefit. It's not to your pastor's benefit. It's not to the benefit of God. It's to your own benefit. That's why he's teaching us. Now, kifundishwa ushike mafundisho unayopewa. It's a fight. It's a your own benefit, to your own advantage. It's a So then, we, from the time we entered this place, we've been taught, and the teachings have been going on, and the teachings have been going on even through the songs through the word. So let us try our best to gather as more knowledge as we can to our own benefit. Praise the Lord. Buona asifiwe. Amen. I've sought to teach us uh, a lesson that came to us. We endeavor to teach because in Kenya the shortage the ministry that is in um, is it a, is it in high demand or low demand? <coughs> I think I think the ministry of teaching in Kenya is not as valuable as other ministries according to Kenyans. But I want to tell you it is only through teaching you can be grounded in the word of God. And uh, nothing will move you when you are grounded. You learn how to deal with the difficult situations when they come. And it's only the teacher who can teach you that. I mean a spiritual teacher. One has a few. I was listening to another man of God from Zimbabwe. He's a prophet of God. And he was saying he has realized it. He has come to realize that Prophecy, remember he's a prophet. And this is a prophet saying, he has come to realize that prophecy never builds people. It never establishes people. Instead, it makes people rely on the prophet. So each time they come to church, they want to be prophesied to. And therefore, these people never learn how to tackle difficult situations when they come. 
So now he has realized that now he's going to prophesy less, but he'll teach more. And I was very glad to hear a prophet say that. <clears throat> because when I come to you prophesying, you want to hear prophecies, prophecies, then you, you know what prophecies people have? I've, uh, I've done what? That, that's how people end up calling someone a man of God because he's prophesying. And then that man, when another man of God is not prophesying, then he's not to other people a man of God. So <clears throat> Africans consider someone to be a man of God if he prophesies. <laughs> The fact that I prophesy does not qualify me to be a prophet. Have you ever known that? The fact that I prophesy does not qualify me to be a prophet. I can be used of the gift of prophecy. A gift of prophecy can be possessed by each one of us. But God appoints a prophet. And a prophet never prophesies every day. Professor, a prophet will prophesy occasionally. But when the prophet gift of prophecy is in operation in you, any time you prophesy. But a prophet will come season. One as if you that's not my lesson today. Um, but I want to open your eyes when we are teaching we are trying to ground each one of us into the word of God so that when you come across a difficult time you know how to handle it you know why it is happening right because we tell you Jesus said in the world you will have trouble if he came, him, Jesus, came on earth to save us, but here he says, in the world, you'll have trouble. So when I have that word in my mind, when I have that word in my spirit, Jesus said, in the world, you'll have trouble. Then when trouble comes, I know that Jesus said, in the world, we shall have trouble. So I know this is what Jesus See, I have the word in me. But if I prophesy to you, I just give you prophecies, you'll succeed, you'll prosper, you'll do well, you'll have a car, you'll have a beer, you'll have a house, you'll have money, you'll have good things. And then, and then the trouble comes. What do you think will happen to you? It is easy for those troubles to wash you into the ocean. They come like a flood, they will wash you to the ocean. Because you don't know what the scripture says. But when you know what the scripture says, when trouble comes, you know this is what Jesus said. So what should I do? How should I stand in this circumstance, in this situation? How should I stand? Then you know how to stand. And then the troubles will come and go. When as if you Yesterday you were talking to another pastime. <sighs> One of the things we talked about was troubles must come. They must come. Jesus said so. Have you ever read from the scripture? Jesus said troubles must come and they will come. So you expect them. On a scale two. Huh? As long as you are this up, expect what? Trouble. They must come. You like them or you hate them? They must come. Whether you are saved beyond measure. Another gentleman said, What you are going to do, come on, you say, me, <laughs> 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 I 
Wengine wanaongea ni kama walisalimia mnyama. Tom Mulwaiske hiyo maneno. Eh unajua bali tulisikia. Wengine wanaongea ni kama walisalimia mnyama. And one thing came back to my mind yesterday nilikuwa kule sehemu ya Kawangware. Gari liko limeniachia mahali sababu barabara imefungwa. <coughs> so as I was crossing to connect to where I was going that thing flashed in my mind. Watu <coughs> wengine wanaongea kama walisalimia miamko. Then it don't it to be it is true nimesalimia miamko. And I realized for sure nimesalimia miamko. Wewe unaona salimia miamko? Aya, kama bana fanya bidii. Ni ni msalimia. Kabisa kasalimiana tukaongea mambo mawili matatu. Ayala niambia hiyo ni siri yangu moyoni. Tikips bigoi. Bwana asifiwe. So I realized that tumesalimia Mungu, nimemsalimia mara nyingi sana. And there is a in the visions I met Jesus many times very many times and we have talked the first time I met him we shook hands so I remember that I remember that the first time I met Jesus in the visions we shook hands God God oh so kumbe nilisalimia mimi so we talk like one was shook hands with God, right? Are we together? Yes. <coughs> so, so, when trouble comes your way, you know what the Lord said? He said, trouble will come. Then he said, but be of good cheer. So when trouble comes, how should I be here? I should be of good cheer. Why? Because he has overcome the world. So I believe in him who has overcome the world. Who is that? The Lord Jesus Christ. So I believe in him who said he was here once. He was on this earth. He walked on this earth. And he went through the troubles that we go through. And therefore he said to us, in the world you will have trouble but be of good cheer because i have overcome the world so we believe in him who has overcome the world trouble must you like them or you don't like them it must come bona si fiu then jesus said alas to him who causes the trouble or who brings about the trap? Alas. Yano lewa. Alas. Then he says, Alas to him. Olewa ke yule. Ambaye. Hushidwa. Naezo hushidwa. So. Olewa ke aletae. Olewa ke na hushidwa. Naezo. So what should we do? We should overcome the trouble. How do we overcome the trouble? Through Jesus Christ. We overcome the trouble. If we believe in him and you stand in him, you do what? You overcome the trouble. Bwana asifiwe. So, as a prophet I'll tell you, a prophet will tell you, Many waters will come, but they will not burn you. Then we should care. Many waters will come, but they will not wash you. Then we should care. They will wash you. I was saying that this prophet was a lie. There is an ingredient you missed. Right? It's an ingredient you missed. That's why your man is going to wash you. You wash you. The fire will come and it will not burn you. The fire is coming but it will not burn you. And then the fire comes 
and Bansi. And say the prophet was a liar, no? Prophet was prophesying the truth, but there's an ingredient you missed. That's why the fire has burnt you. So now I'm teaching you, okay? That's why in this church, you are taught the word. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are taught the word. Take it and apply it so that you may save your soul. Buona si fiu. Buona si fiu. You know, I was reading the book of Exodus and the... Was it Exodus? I read Exodus and Leviticus. And I saw how God was commanding the children of Israel to be giving the offerings. And he tells them, bring to me your offerings. Bring to who? To God. Bring to me your offerings. God is, is telling Moses, tell the children of Israel to bring to me their offerings. And the priests will receive the offerings for me. So when the priests receive the offerings, when they receive your offering, they are receiving for God. So, whom are you taking your offerings to? You are taking to who? To God. That should be attitude. I'm taking my offering to God. And the priests will receive the offerings for God. That's what the scripture says. So, don't take it to the priest. You take it to the priest. Priest here at Akul, and she be alone. I was again walking on the road yesterday when I was coming back now from where I had gone. And uh, we were talking with another pastor. We were talking, I told me, and then we. What came to my mind? Jesus said, Give, and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, shaken together, pressed down, shall God cause men to give unto you. <clears throat> then uh, realize that the way to receive is to give. The way to receive is to give. And give how? How do you give? Huh? Uh -huh. Very good. You give cheerfully. So you give to who? To the pastor. Whom do you give to? To God. You give to God cheerfully. That means don't give grudgingly. If you give grudgingly, you are giving to your pastor. You are giving to your priest. But you give cheerfully. You are giving to God cheerfully. Then God will cause men to give to you. God will cause men to give to you. Praise the Lord. And that's why you find then, then a question comes, if I have given money, do I expect money? I've given money, for example, to Metoa Sadak and Nazak Habu. I've given cheerfully, I've given to God. I've given with an attitude of giving to, to God. So should I expect money, a hundredfold, what I've given? Now, God is not confined in one method of blessing his people. He may not give you money, but you never lack food in your house. That's a blessing. He may not give you money, but you will never visit a hospital the rest of your life. You'll be healthy all through. 
He has given you a blessing. A blessing of good health. Are we together here? Yes. You know, people, when people give money, they expect money in return. Because we love so much. We love money so much. And the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evils. So they love money so much that we want to, when we give to God money, we get money. It doesn't work that way. But when we give money, He can bless you in any other way. Can bless you with good health. Can bless you with the food in the house. Ukitafta pesa mfukoni haziko, but there is food in the house. Wana asifiwe. The woman at Zerifa, whom God sent Elijah to take refuge to, did not have money to buy food. But what happened? God multiplied the food that was there. And it, that food kept them for three and a half years. Three and a half years. God multiplied that food. It never got finished until the drought was over. Three and a half years. They, learned, they did not lack food. When people were dying of hunger, they were dying of famine, they had food in that house. Why? Because he was keeping the man of God in that house. He was hosting the man of God. So the man of God became a blessing in that house. And because this woman received the man of God, food was abundant in that house. When you host Jesus in your house, you host Jesus in your life, then you will not lack anything. He will feed you. What does he feel? He will do what? He will feed you. You will not thirst. You will not hunger. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I urge us here to take the teachings that we are given seriously because God is speaking to us and He's teaching us. Buena asifiwe. Buena asifiwe. And we must be obedient. We must obey the truth. And obey the what? The truth. The truth. <clears throat> That's how it will save you. It is the truth that you know that will save you. If you don't know the truth, you just hear of the truth. If you don't know the truth, then the truth cannot save you. The truth is there, but it may not save you because you don't know it. Buona <clears throat> I'm trying to avoid delving into my lesson because Ah, praise the Lord. Amen. Are you learning? Yes. Are you gaining? Yes. Now, the book of Second Timothy. Let's let's look at this. Uh, Second Timothy. Would you like to be led by the Holy Spirit? Yes. So when he leads, he must go his way. Still? Yes. yes, must go his way. <clears throat> I like going the way of the Spirit because we will not make a mistake when we go his way. As many as who are led by the Spirit, uh -huh. Say it louder by dear. <coughs> These, are the These are the sons of God. As many as were led by the Holy Spirit, these are the sons of God. So that means those who are led by the Spirit are the sons of, of God. 
<clears throat> so when the Spirit of God comes here to lead us, He fills this place, leads us, let us just fall. Because we are the sons of God. Are you a son of God? Are you sure? All that is sure. Who is doubting? Uh, otherwise, the sons of God. <coughs> it's very good. Second Timothy chapter three. I read verse one to five. It says, but know this: that in the last days, periods, times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, Lovers of pleasure rather than the lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, and from such people turn away. From such people turn away. Praise the Lord. Amen. This scripture talks about the perilous times, those are the difficult times that will come. When the scripture talks about perilous times, it's talking about difficult times. When it talks about the last days, it's talking about the days just before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the days just before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ will be dangerous days, will be perilous days, that means there will be difficult days, there will be embarrassing days. Are you there? Yes. During those days, there will be great danger. There will be great danger. So we need to understand that. Now these are words spoken by Apostle, the Apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ, Apostle Paul, is writing to his son, Timothy. He's telling him the last days, that is, the days just before the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, will be perilous times, there will be difficult times, there will be embarrassing days, there will be dangerous days. So you can see. So, in these days, it is very easy to come across or to meet dead. It's very easy to meet dead. Someone prophesied the church in Kenya is going to face persecution. Was it in Kenya? No. This person was prophesying the church is going to face persecution. Understand some pastors were arrested in the door there just after preaching on Sunday. Toka kubeba siyaidiwa ko in the church. Kaenda wakashika o pastors o kaika dan. They didn't come out just easily. But they didn't pass some good amount of money in form of bonds to be released. And a one came to me, what Jesus said, a muta kaimba, tampiga, chungagi, na kodo, watafanya? Tawajika. So the church is facing some persecution. You can see it in Kenya. Evil spirits have always existed before our great, great grandparents were born. They existed before Adam himself was created. 
evil spirits existed. When Adam was born, these evil spirits sought to embody themselves in human beings and they used them. They used human beings. Those evil spirits use human beings. And there have been false religions and false teachings, as I taught you last time. There have been false teachings ever before. It has been there from time immemorial. Those false teachings have been there. And very many people have died as a result of false teachings even before our great, great, great grandparents were born. Very many people have died because of false teachings. So it is not today. So those spirits are still there. So if you kill me, if you kill, for example, if you kill Mackenzie, so that as he had Felicia, that spirit you are not killing. The spirit will move into another person. Will use another person. So an evil spirit can only be dealt by God, not the laws of the land. Evil spirits can only be dealt by God. And God will use men to deal, to counter the evil spirit. Do you agree with me? Yes. A spirit cannot be killed. A spirit cannot be jailed. So we are dealing with a spirit here, not a person. We are dealing with a spirit. So now, because the devil wants to persecute the church, now he exposes one of his, then that is used as a gauge to persecute the one, the church. Right? Do you believe we can pray for water? We can. We can pray for water. We can pray for all. And you go and apply to on a sick person and the sick person will get healed. That happens. That's why in the scripture, people laid clothes, handkerchiefs on the body of Paul. And those handkerchiefs were used to cast out demons out of sick people, out of people, and they were healed. So this is possible. This happens. I remember a lady came to us and complained that the husband was uh, drunken. And we could go in the house, lay hands on the shirts and the trousers of that man. We could pray over those clothes, could pray over those shirts. And now be aware, guys, the shirt karibu, akija, akija, anapanisha, avais. Eventually, the man got saved. It didn't take a short time. Took some time, but the man eventually got sin. So we can pray for water, and when the sick person drinks the water, gets healed. That happens. Buenas if you. But to the laws of the heathens, but I want you to know, child, we are practicing in the church. And therefore the church will face persecution. Dangerous times. So we are living in dangerous times. When you see these things happening, know that we are living in dangerous times. Times when you can easily meet danger. You can easily get yourself into danger. We were talking. We talked a lot yesterday. We were talking. They realize that these people they are trying to weed out of pastoral or religious, religious activities as false teachers. Therefore they are claiming that these people, these pastors should have uh, some education, at least a certificate, a diploma, a degree in theology. Those people have degrees. Realize that they have degrees. So if they have a degree, they qualify to preach because that's what, they, for example, that's what the government wants. They want you to have a what? 
a degree, a diploma, a certificate. They want you to have that. They have it. They have gone to theological school. That's why I'm saying we are dealing with a what? A spirit. Not a human being. We are dealing with a spirit. Because a spirit can get you to anyone. Anywhere. So, kinifunga maybe, hiyo spirit inatoka, inaingia mtu mwingine. Tena unafunga. So, utaweka dunia yote ndani. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Dangerous times. These are dangerous times. Are we together? These are times when there will be laxity of moral values. And this laxity will prevail. People will become immoral in those last days. And that immorality will be cheered. To be valued. And even there will be laws that will support immorality. Is it true today? Today, there is a lot of immorality. Immoral decadence is prevalent everywhere in the world. And that's why today we are talking of human rights. Are we together? Yes. Human rights. Human rights are a savior. We have some rights. We have some rights. But some rights are against the scripture. For example, they tell you um, we should allow a uh, L lesbians G Queer. LG. G. 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 B. Bisexual. T. Transgender. And the Q. Queer. Queer. You are queer. You are queer. LGBTQ. So now, now, that's a human right. Sure. And do you know what the scripture says about the, the gay? What should happen to them? Huh? It's an abomination. And what is the punishment given to them? They should be stoned to death. According to the, according to the Old Testament. So God has condemned it, but the world is saying it should be accepted and they should be allowed to practice it. That is moral decay, which is in the society today. Then they say it, was, it is not the will of that person to be born that way, my friend. That's a spirit that should be cast out of the person. That's a demon. And that person should be delivered from that demon. But this immorality is being, it has been accepted in the world and so many countries in the world have signed a treaty and they have enacted laws allowing them to operate officially. Bona as if you in the same way as he said. But do you know there is a country that has enacted a law and have allowed sexual immorality as a sport and is practiced publicly. It's part of the sports in a certain country in the world. Do you know that gun? Ah. There are some countries where people go to church in their birthday suits. 
Mayone. Ah, yeah. <laughs> These are dangerous times which are now taking place. Immor immorality is on the rise. And these things are happening in full glare of the cameras and everything. Buenas if you. You try to condemn this immorality, you become an pupil. If you try to condemn it, you become a what? An pupil, an outcast. Where we? You are against human rights. So there are some countries when you go there to preach, you should not preach against gay or lesbian. If you preach that on the pulpit, Upemi Sadaka. Na utawai la hiko kwa hiyo kansate. Yeah, there's a, a, there's a preacher from this country who went to that country. And they preached. He was warned before he stood on the pulpit to preach. He was warned against some things. Don't, when you are preaching, don't mention this, don't mention this, don't mention this. Don't mention gay, don't mention lesbians, don't mention. And then he said, okay. But when he stood on the pulpit, the preacher said he had prepared himself, he had armed himself properly. He had fair too, and the money to keep him in that country and fair back. So, ukienda uko unatarajea watapatia fair kurudi, my friend, and then you preach against those things. Uwe. The court deported. <laughs> you have to a deportation. It means you never go back to that country. Yeah. <clears throat> so, alikuwa me jitarisha. Beba fea yake ya kwenda, fea yake ya kurudi, na pesa za kumueka uko. So he was ready. Then he stood on the pulpit. <laughs> and then he began the, the preaching. Nakakanyaga gay, akakanyaga lesbian. And every puppy was uncomfortable with his teaching. After that, after preaching, the pastor did not want to say. And he was denied the offering. And before he left the pulpit, I can be a don't worry. I came bring. <laughs> I came bring. So whether he gave me the offering or not, I'm ready. And the next day, they just had he put it in the airplane back home. One as a few. So, my good friends, these are perilous. Time. Wicked people are celebrated. Immorality is celebrated. So, <clears throat> you want to be a celebrity, you must become an immoral person. Is it true or false? Yes. Angalia celebrity is worked. After my shaya, to put a lot of immorality. Celebrity of my king. 0.01 percent. What has you? So these are days when they celebrate what? Immorality. The last days. Dangerous days. These are days when it is very difficult to bring up children. Very difficult. Well, in Kenya it will look like uh, a little bit, but again it's very dangerous. Bringing up your children in the way you want them to go, it's very difficult. Because they meet with others out there, 
where evil is celebrated, they mix with them, and you know children learn from others. Sinikwe, atoto sinikwe, you learn from others. Unakuta mtoto amekuletea tabia nyumbani ambayo haiko kwe. Kumba alijifunza kwa mengine. Evil is celebrated in these days. So we must be very, very careful. These are days when you preach the truth, you become unpopular. People want easy gospel. Easy gospel. Ile inawapaka mafuta inawabebeleza. That's the kind of gospel they want. If you preach the truth, if you tell people, stop sinning, repent, you become unpopular. You become the unpopular preacher. Perilous times. Dangerous times. These are dangerous times. People want to be told what they want to hear. They don't want to be told what God wants them to hear. So I must stand here and speak to your emotions for you to love me, for you to give me an, an offering. I must excite your emotions. But when I speak to your hearts, you hurt me. He has stood again. They want easy gospel. Easy. That's why Paul said they'll make themselves the teachers who will tell them what they want to hear. Is in the last days. The last days. Praise the Lord. The last days. Days. The last days will be very dangerous. Be very dangerous. Will be very embarrassing. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, what are the characteristics of these last days? Number one, lovers of oneself. See the other For men will love will be lovers of themselves. So they love themselves. Muta na this person just, they want soft life, easy life. Enjoy, enjoyment. I want to enjoy myself. Yeah? They indulge into things that they are not supposed to. Get themselves into evil, into fear. Lovers of themselves. Paul said to him that the lovers of money that means these people will be greedy. These are characteristics you see in people. They'll be greedy. That's why people can kill others for money. They just want to get your money. They can go to an extent of denying you what belongs to you. They can even steal your own property. That's why there's a lot of corruption. Because people love money. They are lovers of money. They are greedy. So people have become corrupt. They are imposters. They go around bragging. Bragging around. Talking about themselves. Yeah? Mimi, 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 mimi. Well, you know when you boast you are a self-centered. Eh? Mimi, mimi, mimi. They are proud. Paul says they'll be proud. Posters, proud. They'll be what? Proud. They feel very important. Self-importance. They are so important. You look down upon other people. That means you are proud. Kindarau watu. Kino nadarau watu. Nadarau danyaku. That's a characteristic of the hard times. Hmm? You put yourself forward. Mimi, mimi, mimi ndiyo naweza, mimi ndiyo ye, mimi ndiyo ye. There will be blasphemous. There will be 
abusive. That means that when you blaspheme, you abuse the sacred things. You abuse God. Those are characteristics we see. So when you blaspheme, what are you doing? You are abusing the sacred things. You are abusing godly things. They are disobedient to parents. Parents, you have parents here. You experience that in your homes. Uh, to to answer, to exhibit the signs of the last days, the difficult times. Say, when I was here, I'm told, I'm going to get a house. I love to go to the house. I'm going to show my maneno, maneno high. I'm going to show my maneno. I'm going to get a house. Why you so much money? Look at my house, so much. I'm getting too much. I love you. When you begin to say so much, I'm going to say, "In a sense, my is a young." My son could not get up. You go and own a my is a. Could not do up on a my is a. Okay. Not do up on a my is a. At a baby, see the see the my is a young. Mwenye maisha yuko, mwenye uzima yuko. Akizima tu hiyo taa utafanya hai. Kemwa tu today kamba kamo. Naku mpanda kesho mtanda. Fanya. Kamo. Remember the fully, the, the, na ito aji? The rich fool. In the scripture. The rich fool. Yula alivuna a lot of food. And I say, my Kura, Lala, Pumsik. And then, what does God say? This night. This night. <laughs> this night. So, here you are, Praise the Lord. Amen. This, are, this is what is happening today. Children don't want to listen to their parents. They don't want to be obedient to their parents. They want to disobey their parents. Mzazi yata unaweza, tunaweza mkula umu kwa mba ufudishi watoto wako. Kumbo mejaribu kufudisha watoto ume, ata ume chapa, ume fudisha, but they have just decided not to not to obey. Those are signs of the edgy times. Signs of the edgy times. They will be they will be disobedient to their parents. Then they are thankful. That's another sign. Then they are thankful. So, what to Abba Hana Shukran? We don't say thank you. We can throw a kitu na chukua ni kama ni haki yangu. Wana kama tu watu kama hawa. Eh, una mpatia kitu ada zemi ya sante wala laki ya nachukua tu ni kama ni kitu chaki ya bacho ulikuwa mechukua ata kama ni chaki ulikuwa mechukua what should you say when I give it back to you thank you so these people will be thankful number one to their fellow men who do good to them they will not be thankful to them they will be ungrateful Number two, they will not be grateful to God, their father. They are unthankful. They will not give thanks to God. No thanks. They will be unholy. That is to say, they will shamelessly indulge in sin. It is like a fashion. So they get into sin knowingly. Wakijua mzuri, this is wrong. But they get into it. Shameless. These are the signs of the editor. These things are happening now. People are committing sin like a fashion. Sidiyo. Banalisha hii dambi leo ni tujaribu hile. Kesho tujaribu hile. 
Have you heard of the story of Shifty? My skin. Aye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shifty. <laughs> Shifty. What does Shifty? Shifty. <laughs> eh? Okay. I'll tell you another day. Shifty. Okay. So, <laughs> and loving. In a natural affection. Hakuna. The Sababu Sasa to Nafunishwa will love one another, love one another, love one another, love one another. These people, the unloving, unloving, the natural affection to other people, Hakuna. There will be lack of love between children and parents, parents and their children, spouses, husband and wife, relatives, there will be no love. Friends, there will be no love. From the word of mouth, someone will tell you, I love you. But inside their heart, they are devising evil against you. Inside their heart. I wish we had eyes to read the heart. Buona zivewe. Iyo ni macho mungu anapatia wajaji. Then kama mungu agere kupatia macho usome yale mutu anafikiria ndani ya moyo, my friend. He will be so despised. The poor frustrated. Because the Bible says the heart devices evil always. So mna cheka na mutu kumbe under the water. Yara nafanya ni atari. Ukisikia ni fulani ya nifanya unashanga. Uyo memwekelea. Kuna hatu mama hawa. Hata muta ikuwa pia kwamba niye ya rifanya utawasema apana. Uyo medangai. Nora, what the people? Apana. Uyo naeza shudia medangai. And then uje ukudue baadae ni kui. You know, kazi ili mefanya minifunza me. Minifunza me. Mevanya na ambia zazo kisikia mwa limo menanifika mtuto wako. Don't be in a hurry to defend your child. Don't be in a hurry. Buwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kuna watu kama hao, kichini chili, kichini chili. Outside here, very nice, very clean. Very holy, uki muangalia, very nice. Ina kienda kwa siri yake para na juwe. Sikuisi tumepewa simwe. Tititi una rusha ka message. Kamene. Kasa una communicate kichini chini. Kisiri zivu. Sinyo. Na rusha ka message. Mimi zita njua kama umerushi ya fulani ka message. Unless ni kawane. Sinyo. But when we are together, we are seated in a congregation like this. We are talking together. Na kueleza, tunaongea, unasema, yes, yes, yes. Alamu, tunakubaliana sisi wote. Yes, tuende jia hii. Yes. Then, ukigojea, watu, unakuta ni wawili munaenda. Na mulikubaliana watu wote. Kumbe watu walirushiana ni? To message, usiku. Kijifunika blanketi. Rishiana to message who are may incite one another they can't come. To Nabaku Nashaka. But I thought we all agreed we shall be doing this. You must hear my die. Come and say, Kali Rushu. You are the good honest at the Kabir. Come and say, Kali Rushu, I'm sick. The origin of the Kamesic, you can't believe. Could I have come on? I hope we made it time. I work. What? Silence means consent. 
So you keep using swari, but you must see that you are not the same as you. Well, as you do. Must be very careful. Okay? And loving. Hey, you are tired. There are people of that nature. <coughs> then, they will be unforgiving. They will be what? Unforgiving. Ah, we are just a man of what? Big good. You can be a European, 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 you can be a European. A kuna mamba of Samayana Wapi? Kusamayana ni hapa. I got it to go hapa. If you have someone to forgive, forgive that person today. And now. Because you don't know what will happen the next minute. Now as I channel now we happen at scare, you have gone to the Lord. If you will not have forgiven that person, forgive him those you think you are not sure whether Murikosa. <laughs> you are not sure whether Murikosa. Una Murikosa out cold. Nina kikwazo na uyu mtu au sina. Those words, forgive. Just forgive. And that's God for forgiveness. You live without a grudge in your heart. Una nisiye? Aye. Kuna kuwa na hawa. These people here. There are so many in the world. Ah, These people. These people. Uwi. These people, they want to to slander us. You know the slanderers. Slanderers are those people who accuse others falsely. They just frame you. They want to worry you. Say, "Atam biku ni malaika wana shudi ya huku sema, lakini wa meyamu atu ni wewe." Then they they are so effective and influential. They will influence all other people to believe that you are the one. Slanderers. They accuse people falsely. Are you there? Yes. We have some here. Silence. All right. <laughs> Silence. This concept. Wow. Okay. If you are there, you are exhibiting. The signs of the edit times, the hard times. You need to repent. You need to tell God to remove slander from you, to forgive you, to sanctify you of slander. Then without self-control, the scripture says they will be without self-control. Without self-control. How are Jesuit? Anything they can do. They can come to church, dance with us, praise with us, pray with us, cry with us. When we cry unto the Lord, they cry even more than us. When they go out there, they are more wicked than the wicked. They have no self-control. They don't know the boundaries. These people will be there in the world. We have other people who are brutal. They are inhumane. They are brutal. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care whether they are hurting you or not. They don't care. They just brutal. They'll be there. We have those who despise good. They despise what? In the book of Isaiah, they say that it says, God says, they have taken the bitter things for sweet and sweet things for bitter. That means, Sukari wanaita uchunju, na ile pili diyo wanaita sweet. They have turned the things. These are people who despise good. And they don't love God. They are not lovers of God. 
They love pleasure. They are not lovers of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. They love pleasure rather than God. Lovers of pleasure. Raha. Eh? Tawaku jivijari. Distare. Tawaku stare. Those people. And then, today, they don't love God. Ata kama ile pleasure, they are pleasurizing themselves. When it's wrong, they love pleasure. They will be traitors. Traitors who are traitors. Is it a new one? Traitors are treacherous. Naweza kuitwa treacherous also. Unaweza kuitwa betrayers. They betray one another. Are we there? When you betray somebody, it means you are handing over that person to his or her enemies. Are we there? Yes. Uh, you hand over a person to his or her enemies. You have betrayed that person. And that's what Judas did to our Lord Jesus Christ. He handed Jesus Christ to his, to his enemies, the Pharisees. And he knew very well the Pharisees never loved Jesus. But handed over those, the, the, the Lord Jesus to the Pharisees. In the last days, people have been haughty. Haughty, that means they are hard headed. They are proud. They are despised. They despise other people. They are headstrong. Kichwangum. Avichwangum. What does it do? Come on, my own, our more one, I keep you on my friend. What does it do? And let me put this as the last having a form of godliness but denying. Its power. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. That's verse 5. Is it? Having a form of godliness. They look godly. These people look godly. They look religious. They look, they look like they love the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. They look like servants of the Almighty God. But when you display when you demonstrate the power of God, they are quick to criticize. So when we display the power of God, the healing power of God, the prophetic, the miracles, when we display that power, they criticize it. Yet, they themselves are godly. So they have a form of godliness, but they deny its power. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why you find in Kenya we are we are divided as, as it goes that every church must be under an umbrella body. Yeah? Umbrella body. Must hear your stories. Every church must be under an umbrella body. So in Kenya, instead of having one umbrella body, we have very many, over 20. Because these ones are mainstream. As this is in Pentecostals. Na katika ha Pentecostals again to the split. Kuna <laughs> Pentecostals wengine they don't believe in deliverance. For example, they don't believe in deliverance. So since we now practice deliverance, na kuna our umbrella good. And then it keeps on splitting. You see that? So it can't be one. 
Why? Because we display a form of godliness, but we deny its power. So when I start displaying the power, you feel like I'm a witch. We have given the devil more power than God. In that, when I display the power of God, you take me for a, a devil worship. When you stand in front of me and I start telling you from the beginning, from the day you are born, what happened, and the details up to where you are, magician. When actually the Lord has revealed it to me. It is true, a soothsayer can do that. But the origin of this power is from who? From God. He knows the end from the beginning. And the beginning from the end. So Paul said to Timothy. In verse 5, Paul said to Timothy, and from such people, turn away. From such people, do what? Turn away. Turn away. Can I pick it from there? Next time. Turn away. From such people, do what? Turn away. So I want to pick it from there. Turn away. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when you see all these things that we have mentioned in the scripture, mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, I have not read the whole chapter. If you proceed, you go home and read the whole chapter, you'll find that these people will form themselves teachers, will teach them what to, what they want to do, what to hear. And they creep into houses of gullible women. Take them captive. One as a few. So my dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> when we see these things happening, to Nigeria, hard times have come. These are perilous times when we see it happening. And these signs, you see them all around you, even within the church. You will see those signs. Wherever you go, you will see those signs. And when you see them, know that these are signs of the end time. So I must be ready because any time the Son of God may appear in the clouds, any time. So I must be ready. Those signs will be in your children, in your spouse, in your neighbor, everywhere. You'll see them. When you see them, know that the signs of the end time. So the Son of Man can come any time when you don't know. Burn as if you will. <clears throat> so we thank God for teaching us. And God wants us to know and to understand these things so that we are not caught and aware. Burn as if you will. Now, but this man. God is a good God. I want us to sing a song here. Ni mokozi aliye ni fia, ni toke the mini alisem. Yeye aliye mwamini mwana. Anao uzima. One of four. One of four. 
Imokuzi ali nibia Success and victory. 
Lord, we give you praise. That Father, your purpose that we should live victoriously on the face of the earth. That your name may be glorified in our lives. Everywhere we go, Lord Jesus, your name shall be praised. Because Lord Jesus Christ, you live in us. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your children. Thank you for your people who stand here today. Lord Jesus Christ, they stand before you, a people you have called out of the world, that they may follow you. Lord, you say those who follow you will never be put to shame. They'll never be ashamed. They'll never be dismayed. But Lord Jesus, you be their God and their guide. And now, Father, today I pray that every soul that is here today, let your power be upon them. Let the Spirit of God guide them. Show them the way that they should go. Lord, open their eyes to see and their ears to hear your voice. Lord Jesus Christ, let their hearts learn to perceive what you say, what you speak. That your name, Lord, may be glorified in their lives. I pray today, Lord Jesus, that you shall provide for them. All their needs are provided for. Because Lord Jesus Christ, you said to us, you will not deny us any good thing. But we shall get all good things from you. And therefore, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Touch your people. Touch them, Lord Jesus Christ. Touch their lives. I pray for these families. I pray, oh dear Lord Jesus, touch their lives, Lord Jesus. I pray for black woman. I pray for husbands who have not received the Christ. I pray for them, Lord Jesus. Let the hand of the Lord touch them wherever they are. I declare and decree that they'll come to Christ today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those men, like Oscar Asha, those husbands who are getting lost into darkness. I declare them back to Christ. I call them to Christ in the name of Jesus. I call them to Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. La Kosha. I break that chain. I break those chains that are binding them into darkness. I break those chains in the name of Jesus. I set them free today in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those wives that are getting lost in the name of Jesus, bound by the chains of darkness. I break those chains. I break those shackles in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be free. Let them come back to Jesus Christ. Because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I call them to Jesus. I call them to the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ. That they may seek the face of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those children who are getting lost into sin. I pray for those chains of sin. I pray for those shackles of sin. I break them from their lives now. I break them back on. I break every evil from their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them turn to Jesus today. We we'll call them back to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And they may seek the face of God. And they may seek the kingdom of God. We give you praise and glory today. We thank you, Father, because you never forsake your children. You never quit on them. We command the sickness of ministry to be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. We command sickness to go. Sickness to go. Go out of their bodies now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be healed now. Those chronic diseases that are dwelling in the bodies of your people. I command them out. Out in the name of Jesus. I command them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord Jesus Christ shall give you praise. We shall honor you because you are a great God. We glorify you and we thank you. Thank you for working wonders in the lives of your people. Those who are looking for jobs, open the opportunities. God shall glorify you. We thank you because Lord you care. 
We thank you because you are our protector and our guide. We worship you today. As we go back to our homes, Lord, I pray that those homes are blessed. That those homes will receive a blessing. Let those homes be blessed. Look at those homes with faith. Lord, look at those homes with faith. Lord Jesus Christ. There will be harmony in those homes. There will be love in those homes. There will be peace in those homes. Every soul that is standing here, every soul that is represented here, I call for peace in their homes. I call for harmony in their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Sakela Mosha. There will be peace. There will be harmony. There will be plenty in their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Success and prosperity. Father, we shall worship you. Glorify you today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Be with us now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Am